Hello YouTube, welcome to Jang's Food Workshop. I'm Chin and this is my mum Chu. Yes, it's Chu here. Today, we're going to show you what you can do with your leftover. From Christmas dinner. Yes, from Christmas dinner. Yeah, yeah. you forgot leftover. about that. <laughs> <laughs> leftover what? Yeah. Leftover from your Christmas dinner. We normally overdone it and today, we're going to... Mum means we not normally overcook. Christmas dinner, <laughs> not we've overdone it. I mean, we have overdone it today because we're quite tired. Mum means cook more than we we want. We need. Yeah. yeah. Today we have some leftover pigs in a blanket. Mm -hmm. Yeah, One of my we're going... favorite. We're doing something a bit creative with them today. What is that, Mum? Sweet and sour bowl. Sweet and sour pig in the blanket. blanket. That's it. There we go. Yes. Uh, we're not going to be making the sweet and sour sauce. We're going to be using this Amoy's um, sweet and sour sauce because it's Christmas and who wants to stand there and make a roast dinner and then the next day make a sweet sour sauce so we're using this and always today and we'll get on with the recipe yeah don't go away so we've got pigs and blankets here we're only going to do those three uh, there's a few there we do have more but they're going to be just for um, photos afterwards and we're going to have 150 grams of Green Dragon self-raising flour. You can use any self-raising flour, but we're using this. It just makes it better. It, you guys know we, we really like this, but yeah, you can use what you want. And to this, all we're gonna do is add 200 milliliters of warm water. Transferring that into another bowl. And then we're gonna add 150 milliliters of warm water into this. We're not gonna season this part. We season the inside. And it should look like a thick wallpaper paste. Yes. The lumpy in there, don't worry yeah. about it. It will just dissolve into a smooth paste. So we're going to leave that to the side for a couple of minutes. We're going to make our base flour. So we've got 150 grams of... No, no just just This is just 50 grams, <laughs> not 150. We're using the self-raising again, but you can actually just use plain. We use a quarter teaspoon of MSG, a quarter teaspoon of salt, salt. a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And we're going to bring that all together. Okay, now that's all thoroughly mixed, we're gonna put the oil on. Yeah, so this is just veg oil. I'm gonna heat this up to a, about 180. Beforehand then, we're gonna put the pigs and blankets that we actually want to batter into the mixture. That didn't work very well. Really looking forward to these ones. Yes, by coating that, you get the flour stick to it, and it's also retain its sort of moisture. You just wanna coat, coat them like that? Yeah, give it a big coat. It's cold outside, that's why. Yeah. That's why oh, the pigs in a blanket. So you want to bring your mix over as well. Some of you might have realised we've gone old school back to the original kitchen and not the purpose-built one we have. Just going to count some of this out. Can't go wrong with a bit of sweet and sour during the Christmas festive season, isn't it? No, you cannot. cannot. It's not traditional, but what is, eh? Yeah, Tradi what is traditional? Can it's anyone tell us what is traditional? Traditional yeah. can be many things, isn't it? It can, but also it's time to make your own traditions. Yeah. Sweet and sour Christmas, that's what I say. <laughs> Sweet sour Christmas. Oh, I like that. Right, have we got into the right temperature now? I am checking using one of these probes. I suggest you get one if you don't have one. We do have links to these below. Right. Yeah, it's perfect now, 180. So here we go, mum's better at this than me, I'll be honest. So she's gonna do the battering. Do you want me to, I'll hold it. Put all your bank blanket in there. So you, in you go. You put it in there like that and turn Ooh. it down. You just let it drop. Yeah. When you drop it in, you've got to have a high heat, then you turn it down to a lower heat. Yeah. I personally, mum likes the batter crispy. If it was me, I would have had the batter slightly thicker because I like a thick batter. That one, do you want it to fill it in? Yeah. A bit like that, you can fill it in. You can always just put a little bit in extra yeah. like that. There's no worry. No worries no at all. No worry. Be happy because your sausages and bacon is already cold. Takes quite less time. Less time to cook through. Quite less time. Take less time to, to cook. They've got a mine of their own. Um... You have to stand over sweet and sour balls like this because there's always going to be one side that's heavier that's always going to want to yeah. sink to the bottom. So you've always got to try and turn them as yeah. you go. Get them to the old, the light, right colour. It's actually one of the most frustrating things in the kitchen to do when you've got loads to make and they just keep popping over and you're yes. like... Stay. Stay now. Stay now. It's at E17, isn't yeah. it? So we're going to take these out now. Yeah. It's all done. It's all brown now. And that's it. They're done. We'll dish them out and try them for you because we haven't actually tried these yet. So So here we go. Mum, have to... Yeah. Might be a bit hot for me. 
It's crispy. Yeah, really crispy. I'll try without the sauce first. Mmm. Mmm. Just sweet and sour sauce and I. Mmm. It's ginger. That by itself is lovely. The first bite of that sweet and sour sauce you can have that ginger, right? Burst of ginger in your mouth. Mmm. I said for me, a batter needs to be thicker. Do you? Yeah, I like thick, stodgy batter. I don't like it when it's... I like it like that. This makes me kind of feel a bit sick. <laughs> it's just perfect. Perfect. So there. Another helpful, I'm gonna put that down. Another helpful video in showing you some ideas on how to use your leftovers. I hope you've enjoyed it. These are fantastic. I think I might just make these and have them with Christmas dinner because I, I honestly think that would be really nice with gravy on it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, gravy. Yeah. <laughs> Look at my face. Yeah. Oh, gravy. gravy. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Liking, commenting helps so much. So if you could do that, that would be amazing. Mum? You hear what Chin say? Just do what you say. Sorry. Happy cooking, happy eating! There we go. Oh, and make sure to check out our website, chinandchew.com. Yes. Yeah. Bye!